Now, this case is quite tragic and it just shows just because someone says they love you it doesn't mean they don't have other bad intentions. Now, check out this video and hopefully you can learn something from this father as he grieves over his daughter's loss. See you on the other side. One love. She died by jumping in front of a moving train. I'll say it with confidence, it killed my daughter. But ironically, till today, even our statement has not been taken. The easiest way to explain this is to use the pattern of incidents from the beginning to the end. It's going to help you understand what actually happened. When, when he met her, even he has confronted himself. She was very perfect and she actually inspired him. When she showed me his picture, I've, I'm, I've never been in agreement with him at all. I've always told my daughter, the reason why you were able to finish your university was because you didn't have a boyfriend. I'm very exp I know what guys do, I know how we do with girls, and I know how girls do. Don't fall in love yet, just try. You finished your degree because there was no boyfriend. Now, you're at KPMG, you're, you've, got a, you've got a mission, a target. Get your ACA first, then you're free, and you'll have more options. So when this guy came up and she showed me his picture, I was not happy, as she knew. But I didn't tell her directly to her face that no, otherwise she would start hiding things from me. So, but she knew I was not happy about it. That was how I got to know about him. But after meeting her, like I said, there's, there's this pattern of incidents from the beginning to when she died. And I'm saying, let's split into three sections. So the first part, after meeting her, she was fine. The first part are things that he did that made her vulnerable. Now, I will tell you what the examples. He met her, he didn't tell her he had an infection. The infection is a viral, it's, it's called herpes. Because herpes is permanent, there's no cure. Once you catch it, you're a carrier. You'd have to explain to your next partner that you have it, if you're honest. So you infected her deliberately, that's like to trap her. She can't go anywhere else, that's one. He wasn't allowed to speak to other men. He also misrepresented. He pretended I was a very rich guy who had multiple businesses. This is my daughter who I look after, I support. She now feels she has found somebody. Took her to his parents in Spain. Promised to marry her. Promised to invest in her future. But brother, this thing now turned out to be lies. He didn't have the money he claimed to have. All the plans he planned with her, he couldn't afford them. That went on for a while. The second section of events, I feel, what made her mental health deteriorate. So after doing all those things to the person, imagine now, all of a sudden, he starts shouting at her. There's evidence of all these things. Asking for a bank statement. Demanding for money. My daughter can never even let me see a bank statement. With the evidence we have, she now started... After that event, she panicked and started doing web searches on how to take her life. We found out afterwards. The final part are things he did that actually led to her doing what she did. Because even the corona, when they want to look at this thing, they won't just look at how she died. They look at the circumstances that led to it. So the final things which he did, which I think broke the camel's back, the final straw, after shouting and demanding for a bank statement, he now went and stole a password. Broke into her phone when she was sleeping. This he has already admitted in writing. When she was sleeping, stole her information, threatened her with the information he stole, by since he had told her friends, removed that from his house violently, and seize the passport which required to claim the money and all her belongings, kick that out. So I've broken into your phone, I've stolen your information, I've threatened you and I've pushed you away. Every step along she told her mother, when he infected her, send the mother the evidence. When he shouted and he apologized, send the mother the evidence. So when this thing was getting out of hand and he had broken into her phone, she called her mother. And mother rushed to Manchester. Then the following day, it continues. The mother was actually a witness to what happened. When he was making his demands over the phone, the threats and all that, and it, when he was gaslighting her. So the mother was totally broken, you know. After the communication between themselves, which uh, lasted about 6 p.m. or so, she told her mother she was going for a walk to clear her mind. The mother was saying she shouldn't go that she'll make some dinner, whatever, then she'll hold on. She said that mother shouldn't worry, that she's got a phone, she's, gonna, she's coming back. Alanis didn't come back. She died on the 29th of May in the UK, 
at Manchester, um, a station called Eccles. She died uh, by jumping in front of a moving train. So the mother has been so broken, you know. Even when the policemen came, the mother told them that it's even the mother that, that made the police aware of the existence of this person. That was how they contacted him, got his statement. But ironically, till today, even our statement has not been taken. Very strange. You know, that's where we are. So the mother was totally broken. Totally broken. I didn't get to know till the following day. When I contacted him, out of love, to find out what really happened, he still shared some of the stolen information with me as a way to make me scared. Something that no parents will want that information to come outside. And now, show me the demand for money, mention the amounts, that I'll be happy if I can help him that that money is about to go into financial, financial ruin. After she has died, somebody you claim to love, somebody you told that you, are, you, have, you have the money, you're going to take care of her. It came with the intention to get money from this girl. Because she was introduced by a, a so-called best friend, who's not a best friend, to this guy. That's his accomplice. After she died, this girl has got to spend time with this guy and they are united in their story against my daughter. I'll say it with confidence, he killed my daughter. He killed her. Because she was already vulnerable already due to what he had done to her. My daughter was my first child. From day one, I fell in love with this girl from day one. This is a girl that I felt if she dies, I'll die. Very ambitious girl. Her plans, she was planning that within the next two years or so, she'll be private. This girl had a very bright future. She had a, she had a bright future ahead of her. She had done so much, she had suffered. Sacrificed a lot. Stayed up all night to read, to pass. Look, KPMG, the ACA, it takes you three, three, five years to pass the exams, right? Passed it in 10 months, 10 months, trying to impress her father as well. And to get there very fast, because she saw that I was very slow in my own starting and my startup. She, she tried, she really tried. So, I mean, it's, it's just for other people. But if for other people we just get injustice, for other people's sake, that people don't do this again to other people, I think Alanis has actually, she has actually achieved something. Please, guys, be careful who you commit your life to. All right, please like, share and subscribe. And I hope we've learned a lesson from this.